Fa. What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Fable34, and today we are checking out some good old Buffy the Vampire Slayer, guys. Plain and simple, the last episode was one of the best, if not the best, episode we've seen thus far. Absolutely loved it. From how seamlessly everything was transitioning, the amount of information they jam-packed in there, twists and turns. Uh, we get to see William spike connective tissues to Angel, seeing Drusilla, uh, Darla, angle and and spike and throughout the history uh was such a pleasure to watch not to mention we got to get more of the lore of the slayer and see how uh mortality is real and death is truly tied into the identity of of of, of the of, of being the slayer and how that's affecting buffy and ending it off with that beautiful ending where he's ready to kill her only for um her to be in shambles after finding out that her mom isn't in the best health so I'm excited to see how things are going to keep on going. Season 5 is getting spicy. As always, guys, don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeet. Not like this, Joyce. I always said protect Joyce at all costs, but from vampire and evil, not brain injury. Your one-stop spot to shop for all your occult needs. Catchy. Think so. I see, uh -huh, Giles. And, uh, oh, the, the new phone book's in with Mr. Giles' ad. Am I mentioned? <laughs> oh, she's so jazz. I mean, I, for one, didn't want to start my day with a slaughter. It's usually really that activity. just goes to show how much I've grown. Flip through the pages and look busy. It'd be nice if we knew where she was. No doubt lurking around some sewer or condemned church or rat-infested warehouse. You know, the usual haunts. Most beauteous and supremely magnificent one. I'll give you <laughs> most tingly and shiny special one. Shiny. I beg of you. <laughs> this guy's tried too hard. I mean, nothing worse than a gift that doesn't work. Then I'd have to get all mad. It will work, your extremeness, provided you have the other items you need. I'll have them, all right. Okay. You got your location. I'll have it all. She's just so dramatic. Ooh. We're taking it up a notch in terms of the power scales. Now let's see how it goes. Spike. What are you doing in here? What, me? Were you just smelling her sweater? No, know your enemy scent. Wet the appetite for a hunt. <laughs> okay, that was actually a pretty good, uh, good save. It's <sighs> the stuff. Out. Twice in recent memory, she's had the lover wickers do a DM fight on the house. Face it, white bread. Buffy's got a type, and you're not it. But sorry, Charlie, you're just not dark enough. Oh. Yeah. Hey! 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 That hit a chord. He knows it now. Buddy, pull it back in you. That's why you're with her at hospital right now, giving her what she needs. She doesn't she know. Did she tell you? Mama's sickly. Funny her not calling you about that. I've known since last He's night. He's digging. I do, glad. I just, oh, well, she just had a CAT scan. I was about to go in and find out. May I come in? Oh, no. Oh, of course, baby, come on in. Dr. Isaac says I'm lucky there's one available on such short notice. Some people wait for days, sometimes weeks. Uh, is it a tumor? A shadow. A shadow? I've got a shadow. He showed it to me, but um, they have to do a biopsy to find out exactly what it is. Doctor says it's too early to be concerned. Our circles are going around in circles. We've got dizzy circles here, Giles. What if she's not a demon or a sorceress or spirit or whatever these books cover? What if she's something else altogether? Thank you. Come again. Something old. She's so old, it's not even so documented. Old predates the written word. Yep. Ancient. Giles, the Dagon sphere. All of y'all go away. So you got nothing. Where she'll turn up next. I beg you. Uh -huh. I want these. You find everything all right? No problemo. That's, um... Well, that's gonna bite him in the ass. She could be anywhere. But if she's <laughs> as powerful as... Uh... Bad time for her not to be around. I'm really excited to see how this, this chunk of the season's gonna go because we got some interesting elements. Riley's out the can soon. Dawn, is that gonna be a slow burn? Are they gonna start going to the quickly? This new, uh, this new figure? Mom's not well. Everything went fine. They're moving her into recovery now. Let's, um... Uh... Sit down over here for a minute. No, I don't mean to be rude. It's just I've been sitting for hours. I, I don't want to sit. I just tell me, please. Your mother has the term is low grade glioma. It's a brain tumor. Fuck. The clinical name is oligodendroglioma. It's in the. Fuck. In your mother's case, the tumor seems to have started. I don't want to be in the writers' room for that one. <laughs> I know this is. That's so rough, man. Because the of the nature of thickens. your mother's illness, things may progress very quickly. Loss of vision or Memory. appetite. Is there something that I, I mean, can I help? Well, there's some literature you might want to look at. Your mother's prognosis is a lot better today than it would have been only a year ago. Even if the tumor's not operable, she has a real chance. Nearly one out of three patients with this condition 
does just fine. Now let me ask, does your mother's insurance company require copies of the MRI and pathology reports? Excuse me, listen, listen. Uh, it's okay. This guy again. He really is a good doctor. Your mom's in good hands. Thank you. It's Ben, right? Right. He was just telling me that there's nothing I can do. Give yourself a break. Listen, your mom's gonna be unconscious for at least another six, seven hours. She is distraught. Oh my goodness. I have to do something. Do something? Yeah, like, you know, magic, a healing spell. Uh, I mean, okay. I need to talk to Giles. Tell her we don't know anything yet. They could try and use some magic, but that could backfire. So we'll see. What? sold someone a Coles amulet and a Sobekian bloodstone. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Allow me to answer that question with a firing. We talked about the employee, employer, vocabulary no-nos. Don't you know about the Sobekites? Oh, I do. And the Coles amulet, wasn't that a transmogrification conduit? Damn straight. The young woman to whom I sold them would have to have enormous power. Young woman? Uh-oh. Dear Lord. Giles done goofed. I had my 10th birthday party here. But did you? Really? Mom rented the carousel for an entire hour for just me and my friends. Except I hadn't made any friends yet, so me and Mom and Buffy riding it by ourselves. She sure cries a lot less with you than she did with Angel. Oh, she's got the receipts? Made her cry a lot, huh? Everything with him was all ee, you know? Oh. My boyfriend's a vampire crazy crazy. Every day was like the end of the world. She's not wrong, yeah. She doesn't yet. get all worked up like that over you. And now he's, ugh, he's too vanilla. Angel was a variety mix. Different flavor every week. So I, I mystical and the medical What's going on guys? It's your boy Failwell. I hope you've been enjoying the video and if you have, definitely be sure to smack the like button and subscribe if you haven't already guys. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me to see you guys are enjoying the videos. It also helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're really enjoying the videos and you wanna go the extra step guys, you can check out the Patreon page in the description down below to get the full unedited raw reactions. Right now we're actually at season six of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and season three of Angel. I know things are really starting to heat up right now on the show, but if you guys wanna get all those reactions up until season six where we're at currently, and season three for Angel, then definitely check out patreon.com slash fail34 in the description below right now to get episode reactions to things like the body, the finale of season five, and up to date where we are currently. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'm meant to mix, Buffy. The, the, the human mind is very delicate. Just yeah. too much could go wrong. If we did something, it could make things a lot worse, Buffy. We've done just about enough making things worse for one day, haven't we? Why? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, nothing. Demon woman was here, the one who attacked you. It's no biggie. She she just got an amulet in a. She's yeah, getting hit left and right. I'm loving it. these reaction okay. shots. Biggie. How did she get away with this bad mojo stuff? <laughs> with a receipt in a bag. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know it was her. I, I mean, how could I? We've managed to decipher the markings that were on the bloodstone that I that she left with. She's going to transmogrify her cobra. But what? I don't know. She's going to well, snap you, fam. Well, I can't just sit here. I have to do something. It's not looking good. Sunnydale Zoo. More hyenas? I'm going to make you a star. <laughs> Okay. Jem is fire. An element rarefied. Oh! Buffy knew! Oh! Oh my god! Okay! Okay! This is no good! Hey! The rocks! This is bad! You have to carry your performance! Arise! No, 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 no. Buffy, what do you do? Like, you're actually, this is. You're getting thrown around. This is disrespectful. Now we got a King Cobra. He's arisen. About damn time. <laughs> Can we run back to Super Slayer? Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know if she has enough time to Spot, train to get this kid. Seek it out in the holy places. Yes, yes, yes. Let your vision guide you to its hiding place and then return to me and tell me where it lies. I think it's kind of cute. It's the eyes, I think. Now would be good. You should get herself killed. It's crazy. Yeah. Max. Crazy. Instead of waiting for a much needed backup, charging him with a big old hand grenade. That's what you did. <laughs> Buffy needs something she can fight. I don't know what kind of action you're looking for. Do you? Damn, he just cut hey, right I'm through him there. Yo, he cannot up. keep up. He's out of the loop. She needs me. He doesn't even know what he's doing at this point. He's just trying to take care of Buffy. Doesn't he, but he knows that she doesn't love him. But he wants to be a supportive boyfriend. You got Jesus here chilling. I couldn't even slow her down. I wanted to warn you that that thing she conjured, it's loose. It's a big snake thing. Dawn's kind of fragile right now. About mom. She doesn't know how bad it is. Why not say a word? I don't know. This got so serious. And to think. Just a few seasons ago, there were cheerleaders on fire. 
Riley. My guy. No. F he. This guy thought he really had to become a vampire to hang with the gang. Oh. Yeah. She's waiting for us. Biggie Snake was nowhere to be. Oh! Jesus Christ. It was very loud. Okay. <laughs> Spotted. I mean, you can't keep up with that. Sorry, bro. I've got to stop this monster before it gets back to Glory. Glory? We're gonna know Don's the key if we don't. We will! Please! Mistress! What is taking so long, drag? All right, well they're gonna know her Addy now. The effects on this nigga are pretty good, actually. Okay, Lucky. You like that? You played yourself. You want me to stay? No, I'm fine. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> All right, let's see this. Oh, what's with the turtleneck? Minimal damage of the fighting kind. It's okay. Just let it out. Could you smell a vampire? Not now. If I start now, I won't be able to stop. And that was my reaction video to Buffy the Vampire Slayer season number five, episode number eight here. And this one was titled Shadow. So we get the results back from Joyce's episode and it's it's not great. New layer of, I guess, pain, I guess, for Buffy on this journey. Obviously she deals with demons, these vampires, the pressure that comes with that, Slayer trying to be a good student. Uh, but on top of that, her mom, uh, isn't in good health too. So that just adds another la uh, layer of tragedy to her life. It goes through enough and now there's this layer on top of it. So uh, I, I like how this episode took the time and the seriousness to uh, show us Buffy going through all of the emotions and trying to balance her friends, her friend group, trying to save the world, uh, her boyfriend, her new younger sister, uh, you know, trying to keep her at bay and, and balance all these things. So I think they did a great job this episode at showing us Buffy state. She was almost teary-eyed and crying this entire episode, and I think Sarah Michelle Gellar gave a good performance at just being distraught at receiving the information, trying to process it, and I think her going through, um, you know, her emotions, you could really, it really came across well this episode, her wanting to go find Glory. I don't know if that's her name that's gonna stick or not, but where Glory is and trying to deal with her, even though it's probably not the smartest decision, she's obviously going through quite a lot here, so trying to take matters into her, into her own hands is typically what she does. I don't know, Buffy Buffy is out of her league on this one. Again, this episode, her, the second interaction with her just sort of confirms that um, she's gonna have to rely on her friends. They're gonna have to go above and beyond this time to stop whatever she is because um, she's got the strength She's invulnerable, it seems. It's just a different bracket, you know what I'm saying? I enjoyed seeing all those elements this episode. Felt terrible, those situations there with Joyce. And, and somebody else who got a really big focus this episode, I think the title of the episode actually plays onto it. Obviously, there's the shadow of, 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 of what they're talking about with the brain scan. But I also think shadow is in reference to, to Riley. I think he's sort of in Buffy's shadow. That's sort of how he's felt this entire time. In this episode, we see him sort of go lean into the darker side ever so slightly, going back to the pub, getting bit by the vampire, um, having even a character like Spike who's sort of making moves on his on, on his girlfriend. Sort of just reinforcing the, the thoughts that he already has that he is not it, he is too goody-goody. Dawn reinforcing that yet again, saying, you know, Angel was his bad boy and you're kind of just Riley. He's just getting beaten down on all sides and I'm starting, I actually do kind of feel bad for him. Where is this gonna lead? I don't know, is he just gonna peace out himself? I mean, I don't think there's too much more for this guy to take. His girlfriend is is going through a lot. He's trying to be supportive, but she's going through her own things. I'm getting the impression he's realizing he's got a dip, but. With that being said, this episode was also really funny there. I thought the idea of them selling the equipment, uh, those, incan those incantations, whatever it is, those items to Glory without knowing it, saying she could be anywhere, and then them saying, here you go, here's your receipt, was absolutely hilarious. I actually did enjoy the villain of this episode, and it, it may, you know, it was, I guess this was kind of smaller, this was a kind of smaller scale episode. Uh, Glory just was attempting to get the key and failed, but developing some of the emotions for our characters this season, I think that it, this was a pretty important episode, sort of cemented that Riley doesn't fit in here. We're 
starting to go through the woes with Mrs. Summers now and Buffy's sort of dealing with a lot and just reinforcing that she can't deal with Glory on her own toe-to-toe, -to -toe, which she normally can do. Again, I guess that's a sign of um, uncharted territories. The family issue, this is new territory for her. Finding a, a Fighting a foe that's completely out of her league, that's new territory for her. And even the team, right? Dealing with dark magic that's not documented. So uncharted territories to say the least for season five. So looking forward to getting through the rest of it with you guys. With that being said, guys, that was it for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This one is season five, episode number eight. What did you think about this one, y'all? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But with that being said, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Love you guys.